Why can't Sabrina drink? Dang it. Uh, Chris, thanks, but I'm really not in the mood for a drink. Oh, come on, Sabrina. I appreciate the offer, Chris, but I'd rather stick with water. I remember you love wine. No, Chris. I'm here to meet a lot of people, not to party. Yeah, Chris. We are here on business. You know how it is. I don't see how one glass is going to affect your business. Half of the business deals at such parties are done drunk. <laughs> she said no, Chris. Let it go. Fine. Suit yourself. I got a super hot picture. Oh, what do we have here? A party without me? We were just leaving. Come on, Martin. Hold on. Mr. Bright told me he wants to meet you. Me? Why? Huh, to do business with you. Isn't that why you're here? Oh, thanks for informing me. I'll find him. I know where he is. I'll take you. Let go, buddy. I can escort Sabrina. She is my girlfriend, after all. Whoa, big guy. It's because of my connections to Mr. Bright that she's even getting a deal like this. So I'm going with her, and I'll get a cut too. Without me, she's got no shot. Fine, I'll go with you, Chris, but don't touch me again. Fine by me. Hey, Liz, stay close to Sabrina, will you? She has gone to meet Mr. Bright with Chris. I'm on it. Hello there, gorgeous. Sorry, not interested. Oh, come on, gorgeous. Don't walk away like that. What's your name? Dude, I'm busy. My sister needs me. Your sister is Sabrina, right? Chris is Sabrina? Oh, you know, sister as in friend. That's right. She's my best friend. Got it. You still haven't told me your name. Sorry, gotta run. Busy night. Come on now. There's no need to be rude. Hey, buddy. How about you attend to your date and leave mine alone? Whoa! Okay, man. Don't knock me out. <laughs> Ah, Mrs. Taylor, a pleasure to meet you. Your husband speaks highly of you. Thank you, Mr. Bright. It's nice to meet you, too. And it's Miss Collins, Deputy CEO of JC Minerals. Indeed, indeed. Pardon me. Now, about the necklace you sold Mr. Taylor here. It's exquisite. I'd like to buy one for my wife. Well, I'd consider this your lucky night, Mr. Bright. We're auctioning some of our finest necklaces later tonight. Including the one I'm wearing right now. Auction? That wasn't on the agenda. We wanted to surprise everyone. A fascinating idea, I must say. I can't wait to bid for your fine jewelry, Miss Collins. I hope you win the bid, Mr. Bright. See you at the auction. Next up is this necklace I'm wearing. The value of this stands at $1.5 million. $2 million! I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't quite finished speaking yet. This necklace is not up for auction as we plan to because we plan to gift it to Mr. Bright as a token of appreciation for his kindness and hospitality. From us at JC Minerals. Thank you, Sabrina. It's truly a generous gift. Hello all, I'm Lizzie Collins. I'll be taking over the auction. I see. Collins, eh? Now, this stunning piece is up for bidding. I'm putting this beauty on the market with a starting bid of three million. Four million. 6.5 million. Lizzie, this can't happen. Chris shouldn't win this bid. I won't hear the end of it if he does. Seven million. 7.2 million. 7.5 million. 10 million dollars. I didn't plan on giving JC Minerals quite this much of my money tonight, but I'm an old friend of the family, so. I'll wrap that right up for you. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> you see that, Sabrina? Chris does love me, and he's not afraid to show it in front of all these people. You did well tonight. This is still a big win for you. Yeah, but... Sabrina, I think that this looks so good on you that I don't think anyone else should have it. Huh? What? Son of a... Just wait for your turn. 
Sabrina isn't drinking, and I don't buy their lame excuses. Something is going on. I don't know, man. Maybe she's just trying to keep her head clear. It turned out to be a pretty important night for her with their auction. <sighs> the rest of her posse is drinking. Everyone else is drinking. Is she going to turn down every drink offer she gets tonight? She seems to be doing all right. Yeah, because of me. What do you think is going on then? I think Sabrina is pregnant. She's hiding it. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You shut up for a moment and think about it. I saw her at the doctor's office. She said she could conceive to that reporter. Now she's not drinking. She wants to hide it from me. You specifically? Then who else, Dan? I think you're overthinking it. The reasons you pointed out could be annual checkup, lie to the paparazzi, and doesn't want to drink on the job. Ugh. No, I know I'm right. Seafood. They can't eat seafood. Isn't that just an old wives' tale? Doesn't matter. When it comes to their babies, most women don't take any chances. And Sabrina loves seafood. I think you've had too much. Find a waiter and send over whatever they have here. Mussels, fish, anything. Okay, Sabrina, let's see. You better not be hiding the pregnancy from me. What will Sabrina do when faced with Chris's unexpected test? Would Chris uncover her carefully guarded secret? Hey, I'm Sabrina. If you're wondering what happens next, download the Pocket FM app now and listen to the exciting episodes of Lose You to Love Me. 